guys, there we go. That's our first trout today. Nice 18 inch speckled trout out here at Rooney Inlet. Got this guy on the 17 MR Miradine way up in the shallows. So we're out here getting it done. Right at sunrise. Hey, what's up guys? We're out here at Rudy Inlet today and uh, we just got our first legal trout at 18 inches. We're out here right at sunrise and we're fishing with the that first trout we got on the 17 MR Miralore, the Miradine. So we're gonna keep working that and see if we can get on some fish. The wind is terrible right now. That's why I'm the only person out here, but hopefully you can hear me and see if we can get on some more fish. All right, stick around. There we go. That's what we wanted. Let that sink for a second. There we go. Oh, we're on again. This feels like a good one. Feels like a nice trout, guys. Oh, it's a little blue fish. Try to jump in the boat, huh, bud? Alright. Well, guys, that's my first blue this year so far. He's just a little guy, but they're better eating when they're this size. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna bleed this guy, and we're gonna take him home too. Anytime you catch one of these bluefish, you got to make sure you check your leader line because these guys have some seriously gnarly teeth. But we're looking good still, so we should be able to get a few, a few more speckled trout before we got to change up our leader. All right guys, there we go. That's another little trout. He's probably legal, but we're gonna let this little guy go. So, there we go. Another speckled trout on the MR-17. He had a lot of fight for being a little guy. It's pretty awesome. Later, dude. Well, there we go, guys. There's another little blue fish. All right, that's a trout. Pretty good one. Nice. Alright guys, there we go. That's another 18 inch speckled trout. We're gonna keep this guy. We're trying to see how much meat we can bring home today. And then we're gonna end up probably doing a catch and cook. I'm thinking about doing a bluefish catch and cook. So stick around for that.
to move spots here pretty soon. Another cool little bluefish for you. Pretty good. There's another nice, good eating size bluefish. So we're gonna keep him. Alright guys, that's gonna do it for the fishing portion of today. We're gonna take this back to the house. I'm gonna clean these fish up. And I think it, I think we're gonna do a bluefish catch and cook today. I know a lot of people hate on bluefish. I haven't eaten a ton of it. We're gonna go give it a shot, see how it is. Alright. Stick around, I'll see you guys in the kitchen. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the kitchen. So today, we've got our bluefish fillets that we harvested and our speckled trout. And we're gonna be making fish cakes, poor man's crab cakes, whatever you wanna call them. We're gonna make fish cakes today out of both of these. And we're gonna see, first of all, how the bluefish tastes in the fish cakes, see if we like the speckled trout better, or see if we can even tell the difference between the two, all right? So stick around, it's gonna be a fun catch and cook. Cheers, everybody. All right, so right now we've got the oven preheating. We got it set at 350 degrees. We're going to lightly salt our bluefish and our speckled trout. And we're gonna give them a little bit of pepper. We're gonna go ahead and slide these fillets in. And we're gonna let them cook for about 20 to 23 minutes. Now we're gonna beat all this together here with this fork and we wanna make sure we're twisting up and shredding all of that bluefish.
All right, guys, so the oil's ready to go. We got our fish cakes ready to be fried up. And so we've got our blue fish on the right side here and our speckled trout on the left. It's gonna be about three minutes on each side per cake, and then they'll be ready to go. So I'm gonna try to do about three or four at the same time with each one here. But let's get to it. All right, everybody, so here we are. We're ready to try these fish cakes out. All right, so Michaela's gonna go first, but I haven't told her which ones are bluefish and which ones are speckled trout. So one, is, one plate is? Yeah, one plate is one okay. fish and the other is the other. Excellent. So bluefish kind of have a, people snub their nose at bluefish. They think it's an oily. A lot of people don't eat it. Um, so if they do, they fry it. We baked this and then fried it into this fish cake. So. We're gonna give it a taste test, see how we like it, and we're gonna see if Michaela can tell the difference. All right? All right. So go ahead and pick whichever plate you want to start with. I like this one. It's sitting on top. Okay. Should I just dip it? Yeah. Okay. You can dip it or use a spoon, no matter. Good, babe. Yeah. That's really good. Cool. Mm -hmm. I think that's speckled trout. Okay. So she thinks the first taste was speckled trout. That is what I think. Okay. Set that down. No, I'm not a master at this taste testing thing, but I, that's what I think. Okay. Next. Tartar sauce turned out really well too. Thanks. I think I, I think I stand with what I said. So you think like the speckled that trout, that's blue fish? Blue fish. Yeah. Okay. Do you like that one? I do. Let Which one try. do you like better? Well, um, okay, hold on. <laughs> we'll say. So I think that one has a little bit of more of like a flavor to it, like a little bit more of like a. Okay. Like you can tell that it's fish. In the case, like honestly, kind of very similar to a crab cake. This is a very much milder flavor. That's very interesting right because that is bluefish and this is speckled trout. Nailed it! Yeah. Nailed <laughs> you it! Did. You did, but you would think, most people would think it would be different because of the oily no, taste. No, no. The bluefish blue is fish. very mild. You go ahead and try it. So yeah, I'm gonna give it a shot. Yeah, try it. Yeah, that one definitely like, it, it, it tastes like speckled trout for sure. It's really delicious. They really taste just like crab cake. It does, it does, it's really good. <laughs> and then this one, you know, you bite into it, it's got the same kind of texture, but then it's right. it's got a milder flavor. That's so interesting. Yeah, you go ahead and give it a try. I really thought this was gonna be fishy. It's, it's not. It's the opposite. Mm. Do you agree with me or do you disagree? I do. <laughs> I thought you were going to do what I just said. <laughs> no. If you've never done this with bluefish especially, because a lot of people just throw bluefish back, but if you've never done this with speckled trout, I recommend it. Yeah. Uh, any white fish would be delicious this way, but this is really good. And yeah, I mean, she's right. The speckled trout has more of a fish taste to it. Like a fullness of flavor, like that fish. Yeah, not not flavor. a bad taste, it's very good. It's like a crab cake. It's like a crab cake. You can tell it's seafood, but yeah. I'm kind of blown away that the bluefish is so very, mild. Very, very mild. Like very, very mild. Yeah. That's awesome. Good job. Thanks. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. The fish cakes recipe is awesome. Yeah. It's, it's delicious. Um, I will definitely be doing this again, especially with bluefish for an appetizer oh, yeah. before a meal. Um, it's 
It's awesome. So I really enjoyed it. I know she enjoyed it. We're about to continue enjoying it. <laughs> but I want to thank you guys for hanging out with us and watching the video. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please hit that subscribe button. We're coming out with videos every single week. All right? See you guys next time. Thanks for watching. See you soon.